It's time for GML, Give Us Some Minor Life. My name is Give Us Some, and this today is not about politics anymore. It's about other matters, other important matters of education. And today's, today I have a special guest, very special, because they're not from here in Kenya. They're from various parts of the country, in Africa. In the middle we have Dr. Sarah Maji from Ghana. And of course, on the other side, we have Dr. Dube Adok, all the way from Zimbabwe. We don't know what they're doing here. Maybe they love this country. Maybe they'll go back. Maybe they won't. But one thing for sure, they have been in Kenya learning. And tomorrow or another day, they have, they're graduating with their, their PhD or their doctoral certificates. They're going to have them tomorrow or another day. But they are doctors. Welcome, yeah. Dr. Sara. Yes, thank you. Dr. Dube. Thank you. Congrats. You've thank been here you. in Kenya for three years. For three years? Yes. yes. You're welcome in Kenya. Thank you. You should stay for a fourth year. For a fourth year. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the show. Thank you. This is Kenya. How is oh no, how is Kenya to you? Is it beautiful? You've been here for three years. Can you describe your stay in Kenya for three years? Okay, let me say that um, Kenya, it's not so different from where I come from, Ghana. Um, except that um, there are a lot of greens. If I say greens, I mean probably in Eldoret. Because I'm sure when you go to Nairobi, because it's the capital, you will not see a lot of greens around so yeah kenya once it's africa and we are coming from africa it's not so different from where we are we are coming from the climate you know it's the same okay ghana is a little warmer uh -huh. or a little hotter than in kenya because the when you get to the peak of the heat in ghana is almost about 40 degrees celsius especially in the northern parts of ghana and then when you come to the southern and the eastern where I come from, it's between, in the evening it's between 25, 27, and then in the daytime it's between 33, 34, 35. Yeah. <clears throat> Compared to Kenya, Kenya is a little colder yeah. than in, in Ghana. Yeah. We here, usually it is lower, as low as 10 degrees Celsius in Eldoret especially. Yeah. And then in Nairobi, it's about 12, 13, 14 when it is cold. Yeah. Yes. In the peak time, it's about 27, I think, or 25. Yeah. So the weather is also okay for us. Yeah. Especially, but I mean, otherwise, when I came in, in August 2014, it was very cold in Eldoret. I had to cough for three good months. Yeah. <laughs> I was coughing. I had to see a doctor. Yeah, it's cold. It, it know, was cold. Like you I see, it's already drizzling. drizzling. Yeah. It's raining a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Doctor Dube, you know, yes. have you experienced something like Mursik? Do you even know what Mursik is? Not really. What are you talking about? <laughs> mala. It's called mala. You know, that milk that is you know, fermented. Yes, I, I have experienced it. Yeah, how is I love it? milk. Okay. I tasted uh, mala. I didn't check it so much. <laughs> but and some ugali? Ugali, yes. And some uh, sukumawiki? Yes. It's, I love sukumawiki. You love sukumawiki? Yes. You know, like, like how, how, have, how has been your stay, you know, for you? Oh, I can see that I enjoyed my stay in Kenya. Um, and I traveled quite a lot here. So I enjoyed seeing uh, the tea plantations, the sugar plantations. I've seen them by and uh, Nandi Hills. I've also gone to uh, Mombasa. You've gone to Mombasa? Yes. You've gone to the beach? Yes, exactly. Um, so I can say my stay was nice. So I was enjoying academic work here. Also, uh, also out there. Yeah. Yeah, it's seeing right. people. And yeah. I saw the animals in uh, Narok, down there. Yeah. The, in the reserves. Oh, you, you have traveled. You have really traveled. I don't know whether the rains are going to allow us. Oh, let's, let, you know, let, let's watch the weather. But you know, Dr. You know, Dr. Sarah, you know, you've been here in Kenya, you've, you've learned, you know, how is education like, you know, in Ghana compared to, you know, to, to, to Kenya? You know, in the university education. Okay. Um, let, me, let me say that um, 
until recently that I heard that um, Kenya would be moving into the three-tier system so that you have from primary, six years of primary school, and then you get to a junior high school, the intermediary, and then the senior high school, which are the two intermediaries, and then you get to the university. Ghana had been practicing this system for quite some time. Yeah, in education-wise, um, Ghana is still battling with the language of instruction, yeah. okay, especially in the primary school. To the university, because we have official, our official and national languages as English, mm -hmm. yes, I mean, we are, using our, we are using the English language in the university. Unlike in Kenya where Kiswahili can is, be used yeah, sometimes. Can be used <coughs> currently with with English. Where we have we are there I know there are still some researches being done and people are still contemplating yeah. whether the Kiswahili English thing is still working in Kenya. Yeah. But in Ghana, yes, people are proposing as to whether um, in a particular province the particular language, okay, uh, the language that is widely spoken can be used. Yes. Which is? In a particular region. Yeah. They are still contemplating. There are still researches that are being going on. But officially, it is English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, in, uh, in the universities. Yeah. yeah. In Zimbabwe, you know, Dr. Dobe, you know, how many universities do, are, 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 there, are, there, are there in the in your country? Uh, we have more than nine state universities yeah. uh, in Zimbabwe. But we still have other private-owned universities, like church universities and other uh, individual universities. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are doing a lot of work, all of them, uh, for the development of the country. Uh, of course, various other many colleges. So in terms of education, like Zimbabwe is, is all good? Zimbabwe is all good? I can tell you that <coughs> more than 95% of the population in Zimbabwe is very literate. Uh, they can read and write. Mm -hmm. Yes, and possibly speaking today, um, more than a third of the people have a master's degree. More than a third? Yeah. Of the whole population? Yes. Robert Mugambe, he's, he's a good man. He's a good man. That's why people vote for him. No answer. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You know, Dr. Sarah, in, you know, like in, in your country, how many universities do you have? Public universities? Yeah, we have about, I think between seven and nine public universities. But we have a lot of private universities. Yeah. They are springing up so much that, I mean, I am beginning to worry, yes, yes, that there are a lot of uh, private universities in Ghana. They are springing up so much. Look, looking at the capital intensive, yes, there are still a lot of uh, private universities coming up, yeah. which is, uh, I mean, as a subsidiary, okay, to the public universities because at a point in time, public universities couldn't admit the number of students who were coming out from the the secondary schools. Yeah. Yes. And then again with this, the new, we just had our elections in December last year. And with the promise of the, the, the government, I mean, in power now, that there would be a free secondary school education. Education. Yes. We, we should expect a lot of people now, or students now coming out from the secondary schools yeah. and so i think that yes the private universities coming up okay to augment the 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 universities okay in ghana it's 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 a it's a right i mean it's in the right direction mm -hmm. okay for ghana yes yeah yeah oh there is a still continuing now let's go to a short break because the rains can't let us move on gml continues right after the after the break